Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part 2 of my DIY coastal beach theme series that I will be decorating my home with for this summer. And in my previous video I showed you guys how I DIY my starfish with salt dough. I will leave that link down below in my description box for you to see in case you have missed it. And if you are visiting for the first time, welcome. My name is Antoinette. I hope you will stick around and consider subscribing. So I am starting off with this beautiful wreath. It's medium sized grapevine wreath that I had for a while. I am just going to add some of these shells, marbles and starfish. So at first I am using some of this burlap. I will just cut it in a half like this. Then I wrap it around the wreath and secure it with some hot glue. And once that done, I will go ahead and glue everything on the burlap. I will just play with it until I like how it looks. This video is also part of Friend Friday Hop that is hosted by Heidi at the Heidi Sample DIY channel. Heidi is the creator of the hop. I will link her channel down below in my description box along with a link to the next channel. It's a hop so after you are done watching my video, you hop on over to the next video which I am not going to tell you who she is you just have to click on the link and see and after it you go to the next video and so on it's really fun and i am so happy to be part of it and i hope that you will check out all of them for lots of inspiration I decided to add some kind of fishnet on this wreath so I had this bottle protection that you usually get to protect your wine bottle so I will cut it and give it some paint job just using some acrylic white with a little bit of acrylic gold. Then once that dry, I place it on this part of the wreath and try to secure it with some floral wire and some hot glue. Then I add some greenery. And then I add few more things here on the top. Lastly, I cut some of this thick cotton rope to make a hanger like this. And I think it turned out so beautifully. Next DIY is really simple and super easy to make. I have this set of three terracotta pots from Dollar Tree. I am using a mixture of acrylic ocean breeze and a dab of navy blue. Then I go ahead and paint all three of them. Once they are dry, I go ahead and use the dry brush method and I brush over the pots with brown then gold. Once they are dry, I wrap some twine around the pot few times. Then 
Then I glue one of these shells here and tie a simple bow like this. Then I add some floral foam inside, then top it with some pebbles, then stick these faux succulents on top and there are the finished look of my cute pots. Next DIY is also simple and cute. You can place them on shelves or on a tear tray. I had these canvas signs that I thrifted long time ago. I will go ahead and give them a coat of white paint. And once they are dry, I try to underline each sign into four sections, like how you see me doing here. And then I go ahead and paint each section in different color, which I will use what I had. It doesn't have to be perfect or even. And once they are dry, I just wrap some thin twine few times around it, then secure it at the back with some hot glue. And then I add some few of the shells and starfish to give it that coastal beach look. Last but not least is this gorgeous letter sign which is the first letter of our last name. I had this letter sign for a while that I found at Lowe's clearance for under $3 and I decided to give it a summer beach look so I will go ahead and glue everything on it using some hot glue and I will play with it until I like it. I think it looks so cute. I really love how simple and beautiful it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these simple coastal beach ideas and if you did please give this video a thumbs up, share it and let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite. Now that my video is done click the link in my description box to head to the next channel and see what they have in store for you. Hopefully be inspired. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next one.